the king of glory. He has given us a breath. So let us pray. Almighty Lord, we thank you for the day. We thank you that you have given us a breath for your children all over the world. It is your goodness. It is your mercy. It is your love. It is your compassion. Who can do this for us? It is only you alone. Lord, our savior, Lord, our master, king of glory, we thank you for a moment like this. It is you alone that has the bread and you are worthy to be praised. Thank you this morning. Spirit of the living God, this is a vessel, empty. May you speak through me and let your word come forth. We thank you. We magnify the name. The name that is above every name, it is our Lord Jesus Christ. May your will shall be done this morning. We thank you for giving us a word. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, I greet you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name, because this morning he has given us a word. And without wasting time, let us hear the word of God. Psalm 23, and I read, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in a green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. He restore my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup run over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Beloved, we are going to see about the scripture. The first one say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So we turn into John and the verse, John 10. And the verse is 11. When we say shepherd, what does shepherd do? A good shepherd is only our Lord Jesus Christ. He know his sheep and the sheep also know him. So let us hear the word about the good shepherd. John 10 and the verse is 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for his sheep. Beloved, it is only Christ who died for you and I. He is a good shepherd. He knows his sheep and the sheep also knows him. He knows the sheep, the voice, the sheep also know the voice of the master. We continue that he maketh me to lie down in a green pasture. Three, he lead me beside still water. That is a supply. It is only God who can supply because he is 
a supplier, and a planter. Let us hear the word about only God that can do it for us. That is Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So it is him alone who supply, who can give us a rest. It is only the Lord, our King, our Savior. Oh, mighty Lord, we thank you this morning. What a Savior, what a Master. He leads us in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. That is, we have to rest in him. It is him alone that can let us rest. He said, come unto me who are heavy laden. He wants us to be in him all the time, depend upon him. He alone can lead us into his righteousness. So it is a rest. Let us see at at three and the verse is 19. Let us hear the word of God. At three, verse 19. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. Let's hear the word of God at 319. Repent therefore and to be converted that your sin may be blotted out so that time of reflection may come from the presence of the Lord. That is, when we repent, we be with him. We need to repent. That is only him have the righteousness. Hallelujah. He is our Lord. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the dead, when you are in Christ, you are with him. You depend upon him. You can face tomorrow because he is the author of life. He knows our beginning and he knows our end. I fear no evil. The devil will tempt us. He would bring his tricks. But you know, if we are deep in the Lord, greater is he that is in us. So we fear no evil. For God is with us. For he is with us. The rod and the staff, they comfort us. He alone can comfort us. He alone is our guide. He alone, we have to depend. He prepared a table before our enemies. We are killed every day, but because of his mercies, we are still alive. He anoints our head with oil. That is, when we fellowship with him, he will let us be with him. And also the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, who lead us. The temptation will come, but God Almighty, will help us to come out because he knows us. Hallelujah. My cup will run over. The torment, the problems, they will come, but they are not bigger than our Lord Jesus Christ. So whatever situation we are going through, our King, our Lord, our Savior, can deliver us. I will sing a song to glorify him. He is able, he is able to deliver. 
He is able, He is able to deliver my Messiah. He is able to deliver. Hallelujah. My Messiah is able oh, to deliver. He is able, he is able to deliver. Hallelujah. He is able, he is able to deliver. Mamazaya is able to deliver. Mamazaya is able oh, to deliver. Beloved, he refreshes us. He is our God. He created us. He knows us. He guides us. And anything, any test that we go through, God is able to deliver us. He protects us. Look at how we sleep. It is only him who wakes us up. He is a faithful. Our God is so faithful. And our God is so unique. Oh, with him, all things are possible. We have the hope in him. He has so many abundance. That's why John 10, 10, the devil come to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But only God comes so that we will have life in abundance. Oh, what a savior, what a king, what a master. He alone has internal life. We have to depend upon him. We have to serve our God with our whole heart. Our soul, our mind, our strength. We have to depend upon him. The Lord is our shepherd, and he is the only good shepherd who knows his sheep. So this morning, you and I, we have to serve him. You and I, we have to love him. You and I, we have to depend upon him. What a savior, the one who paid the price on the cross for you and I. We give him all the glory. We honor him. What a king. What a lovely father. Oh, mighty Lord. Without you, we cannot make it. So this morning, you are our good shepherd. You are our king. You are our righteousness. You are everything. All you know belongs to you. We thank you for giving us the word that you are the good shepherd that we have to depend. Oh, with you, all things are possible. May your will shall be done upon us. I take this opportunity by your mercy and your goodness, God Almighty, may you bless your end time prophet, protect him and guide him, him and his family, and also his viewers that listen to him on daily basis. May their heart desire be met in your mighty name, Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.